then you hold the katana normally and do the kaiten chiburi spinning blood shake. So and also, because Samurai would usually be cautious of your right hand's movement for the draw, you can surprise him by only using your left hand. And welcome to Latsas Six and Say. I love to be a host, Shogo from Latsas Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say, welcome to the show. Hi, welcome. 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 Hi, Having the katana on the left side of the waist was not a choice for the samurai, but it was a government defined law. That's because if the samurai randomly had their katana on their left or right waist, they would easily clash the sash sheets against each other. This could lead to fights among samurai, because the katana were called the soul of the samurai, and they were symbols that you were nobility. Therefore, the katana was generally drawn with your right hand. But then, does this mean that there are absolutely no techniques where you draw with your left hand? The answer is no. So today, Six and Sei, the 22nd headmaster of Asami Shindu with 400 years of history, will introduce three kata drawing the katana with the left hand. These three kata are from the Shinkageru Hoganha, which he is also a master of. This video will completely change your image of fighting with katana, as we show left hand drawing and the unique Zanshin method. So then, let's get started! In this first kata, you draw the katana only with your left hand. Let's ask Six and Say about the details of this technique. The assumption is that the opponent is standing very close to you, because if he were far away, all of these movements would be meaningless. Using this technique, you can draw without using your right hand, and avoid getting your tsuka handle grabbed by the opponent. And also, because samurai would usually be cautious of your right hand's movement for the draw, you can surprise him by only using your left hand. After the cut, you back away with a special stance called the Nagaregedan, which is a type of zanshin in case you need to stab and attack again. Then you hold the katana normally and do the kaiten chiburi, spinning blood shake. However, you need to be careful about the sheathing. If you perform this kata correctly, the sash sheath will absolutely be flipped over, so you must fix that before sheathing.
The second kata is performed from a sitting position. Because katana were generally drawn with your right hand, keeping it on your right side was more polite whenever you sat down with your katana. That's because drawing is much more difficult and shows less hostility. But of course, in real life, anything could happen. Even though both samurai kept their katana on the right side to show respect, something went wrong and a fight began. <laughs> で、そう、と返して、こう。ね。それでこの後、間合いを取って、さやたて斬新っていうんです。さやたて斬新っていうんです。で、これを何のために only the left hand draw, but this sayatate zanshin is also very unique. You are far away enough not to get cut even without the saya. But it is also meant to stop him from swinging the katana around by getting his katana stuck in your saya sheath. You can immediately give him one more stab if necessary. You take another step away and do the chiburi by shaking the blade down and then you sheath the katana. This is another kata performed sitting with your katana on the right side. However, this time, you fight against someone who attacks from behind. It's important that you keep the saya in the same position until you draw, to prevent the opponent from moving or drawing his katana. The zanshin, chiburi, and sheathing are the same as the last kata. This kata can be performed with the katana on the left side, and toward the opponent sitting in front of you too. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching! so everyone, if you learned anything new or if you have any other questions about the left hand draw, please let us know in the comments. And our goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, 2023. It'd be great if you can help us out by sharing this video with your friends and family. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Want to learn EI and Kenjutsu skills from Kodo Master, Siki Nobita Sensei? Our online lessons have perfect English interpretation and are accessible to anyone worldwide. We will even be providing Don ranks depending on your progress. Check the description box or pinned comment to join now.